settled on a white oversized shirt and then this is a bodysuit that i thrifted from pla i think but it's thrifted yes i think i've already mentioned that and then this is the bag that i'm carrying i feel like the bag elevates the look yeah yeah and then so my shoes yes the same old sneakers that i'm always wearing i know i need to upgrade my closet i've been saying that for so many times we're going to do it eventually but yeah that's my cute outfit i love it yeah let's head out and it's actually sunny outside so the weather is perfect perfect let's go for the lunch i've seen a place where they sell flowers and i'm trying to think of what to get you guys you know i am obsessed with flowers hey the white ones look nice these ones very cute yeah, even these ones. So I'm thinking of mixing these ones and the green ones. We'll see. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Only gone for a year, only go like once. Life moves fast when you do what you want. I guess I'm doing what I want. All right, so first of <laughs> what we ordered, I ordered a cocktail, Long Island, and then my friend ordered a um, what? What did you order? Lemonade. A mocktail. Oh, yeah, lemonade. Yep, yep, yep. So that's the first thing on our list. Yeah. But she don't love me, she's too scary My hope is fun like Jackie Brown oh, hey, <laughs> I wanna know if she too down Will you be my leading lady? I wanna contract them, no baby In the meantime It's the meantime I'll be doing what you want Crip by the beast like Odell so our food is here. We ordered uh, sauté potatoes and then pork. This is pork choma, I think. Yeah. And then this is um, mbuzi, mbuzi fried. He also ordered sauté potatoes. So yeah, let's devour. <laughs> pretty basic i don't think i'm going to show you my outfit uh i have a client who has sent me to the market to get a few things some oversized shirts and some leather jackets so this is what i'm wearing because i want to be able to eat to be easy like to be easy for me to fit the clothes that i'm going to get for her so yeah that's what's up i really do enjoy like shopping i am pretty pretty geeked up you think that the shopping is mine so yeah so for those who don't know actually i do run errands just around nairobi 
So in case you come Bali and you feel like you cannot come all the way to Nairobi just to buy like those things that you want to buy, you can send me at a small fee. So yeah, you can DM me on Instagram, uh, Stacy P Mbogo. I literally use the same name everywhere. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, the same name. If you search my name, my page will come up. You can DM me even on my thrift business. So yeah. Send me guys, come on, go busy, just send me and I'll do the errands for you. So yeah, that's what's up. I just wanted to introduce the vlog. I don't even know where this vlog is going to go, but I do know that today I have something to do. So yeah, that's what's up. I'm going with my friend and she's going to help me uh, with filming, which is always a plus. Because most of the time when I'm going to this errand, I'm always like alone. But this time around, I have someone who can like film me when I'm trying the things. Ooh, so it's going to be quite exciting. Can you give the vlog a like, subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, let's head out. Um, this is the bag that I'm going to carry because of errands, obviously. And I want to keep my things safe. I'm sorry, but sling bags will never go out of style, at least for me. <laughs> uh, because I just feel like they are very functional, guys. They are very functional. And then I might put on a jacket on top because this weather is quite unpredictable but yeah that's basically it let's head out let's go shopping guys so this is the first stop that we made these are the shirts that she was looking for we've gotten three out of this place doing good i feel oh i mean some of are like or too too dull for her but yeah they pretty have nice shirts as you can see these are others we've gotten three from this place they're now looking for like a white one but I'm quite confident with with everything that we got. So yeah, also I'm suspecting these guys are going to be expensive because it's literally the first shop booking here yeah, uh, toy. So let's go and look. Now looking for leather jackets. So yeah. 4K. Guys, this is um, what my client was looking for. Yeah, these leather jackets with uh, wool, whatever. But they're expensive, bro. This is 4,000. Aki 4K in XP. Although it's nice. It's really, really nice, as you can see. But 4Gs, oh my god. Yo. But yeah. Guys, here are some shoes that are really beautiful for 600, 600. 600 yeah i think now we want to go to the other side i think we have to cross the road the last time i was in toy was kitambo guys i don't even remember the direction because <laughs> we've been on this road for like to mepanda to kashuka i think there's also another section but i'm not sure hey eh, let's keep looking but so far so good. Hey, that jacket was expensive, bro. Four thousand, and then he was actually also willing to sell us for two thousand. So meaning, hmm. Uh, we found another nice leather jacket, but the problem is the hands are too short. I don't know if you can clearly see, but this is cute. This is what I'm looking for. Something that has a belt. I usually think that those leather jackets are so classy, bro. This is expensive. This is going for two five. 2500 yeah um so this is another jacket that we found it's brown but there is your upper display as a kai but mtoki va they are like really really good so yeah the only thing that i'm concerned about is how light they are like it's not heavy but it's cute because it's cropped <laughs> This is the second place that we found and we've gotten our shirts. So we are done. On to looking for leather jackets now. They have pretty, pretty shops. It's actually near Adams. Yeah, as you can see. So if you're looking for similar shirts, eh? that's where you get them. Yeah. So guys, we are done with our errands. Now it's time to go home. Actually, we're going to town to look for leather jackets because the prices at Toy for leather jackets, <laughs> it's definitely not it. Tell me why leather jackets need 4,000. Hey, excuse me, no. So, yeah, that's what's up.
So I think the last time we were chilling and we were toy and here are the shirts that I got for my client and by the way I've already asked for her permission so she's totally okay with me putting on the clothes and showing you so yeah I also got one leather jacket but let's start with the um, oversized shirt as you can see she got a bunch of them she actually got seven and i absolutely love every single piece that i got for her so i quickly want to show you let's get started because i have an hour to get out of this house so yeah mm. um all right you guys so let me position the camera the phone i mean so that i can show you all the way down so i put on a black outfit a black bandeau top and a black biker shirt so that because i feel like this look will go well with every single shirt that i will show you so the first oversized shirt that i got is this that looks amazing of course you can fold it however you want to put it on personally i would fold it like this so that it can give like a chic look and then uh like a brown or black tote bag and some sandals take me for vacation please <laughs> so let me come closer so that you can see the print of the shirt it has like some stripes i feel like stripes will never go out of style um blue stripes white stripes black stripes they are always like looking so effortless so nice so yeah that's the first <laughs> sorry that's the first shirt that i got love it so yeah <laughs> let me put on the, the next one the next shirt that i got is a white one as well it looks like this we love it right obviously for me i think i would fold it <laughs> like that now this this is a look that i would totally see myself rocking in a brown tote bag brown and white is always like they always look they always go so well together but yeah that's the second shirt that i got with some brown sandals such a good outfit so yeah it looks like that at the back it's just a plain white shirt but when it's styled it elevates the look yeah we love it so yeah that's the second shirt um third shirt that i got is a plain blue one and it looks like this again such a gorgeous shirt these shirts are actually going for 350 some and some are going for 400 but you know what i'm not complaining because the quality is really really good so yeah because they'll look really nice so yeah that's the third shirt looks like that very cute comment down below and tell me what's your favorite color and yeah that's the third shirt when i tell you we were going for colors that's exactly what we meant because tell me that this is not a gorgeous color like let's get into it such a beautiful beautiful like is this like an orange yeah i think this is orange sometimes i tend to be colorblind guys please don't mind me but yeah this is the other shirt that we got obviously again with the sleeves i would fold them like this ah such a cute color i absolutely love the color so this is the fourth shirt yeah wow so cute <laughs> so yeah let me get let me put on the other one uh again with the stripes only that this has like a different type of stripes i'll get closer so that you can see i know it looks similar to the first the first one that i had yeah but yeah this is another oversized shirt oh my god i absolutely love them and i love the length by the way like they are oversized but not too big at the same time which is always so cute so yeah that's how the stripes look like we love it yes yes approved approved <laughs> yeah so another color that we got is a purple one again purple looks so nice it it's popping honestly especially with the black outfit i love it so much and then some sandals obviously i think with this look i would like go for like some white sandals i think and a different 
uh, color of the bag but yeah let's get into it this is so cute oh my god <laughs> ah this is so nice guys and obviously i got myself a shirt i got myself a white shirt uh, oh yeah we're back so as i was saying this blue actually this is my favorite uh <laughs> out of everything that i showed you i think this is my favorite absolutely gorgeous we love it we love it <laughs> it's approved so yeah i hope my client gets to like really love everything oh i had forgotten i also got her a leather jacket let me get it i'll be back right, this is the jacket that i got her and it fits to the tee i do have fat hands by the way i've been saying that i want to go to the gym every time cg what's stopping me but i will so yeah hopefully it will fit my client but i think from the pictures i can tell that she has like thinner hands so yeah that's the jacket absolutely love it i feel like cropped jackets will never go out of style i really hope like fingers crossed i hope it will fit her i got this for a thousand book i like mentioning the prices so that i don't know when i'm watching when i'm watching when someone is doing a haul i kind of like when they mention the prices so that at least i can like plan or have a budget when i'm going to shop so i feel like i would also like to tell other people the prices so that they can know as well i also have broad shoulders so don't worry i'm hoping it to share yeah the person that i got it for so yeah cute we love it it's cropped kidogo i wish it had like a belt but you know with thrifted things it's a it's, you can never like find a perfect perfect thing but yeah that's how the leather jacket looks like yeah let, let me um <laughs> let me get ready and then we'll talk the next day so stuck in my own way so i enjoy this moment it's the day that the lord has here is my flower arrangement i've decided to place the flowers here initially i had uh, decided to place the purpose grass but i still don't have a nice vase even this the one that i'm using now it's like um natumianga kueka shuge and stuff but yeah i also need to buy a nice vase but that will do for now i think this white one is dying because i took uh like three days before niziake kwamaji but it's fine i just need to add some sugar and some jig so that they can last longer but yeah i absolutely love zikiwapo so yeah <laughs> Hey you guys, uh, so it's the next day. Actually, yesterday I didn't even vlog. Um, I just chilled at home. Today is on Saturday. I want to go and make some deliveries in town. So the first thing that I'm going to deliver is this package. These are the clothes that my client had sent me. When was I... Uh, I don't even remember the day that I was filming, by the way. Oh, this is my outfit. Very basic. Uh, it's an outfit for running errands and then there's also a client of mine who had sent me some shoes some shoes for kids this is the first pair it has mickey mouse on the side so cute but it's small should i say the size that has inner size but yeah that's the first pair um the second pair looks like this 
quite nice absolutely love the brown and the white it looks cute that's the second pair the third pair looks like this <laughs> looks like this i feel like kids walk on a tuvia tutuzuri this is also another pair that we got we actually <sighs> sorry <laughs> we actually got a lot the few that um we had to leech copy i hit these ones this is another very cute design absolutely love it and then we also got some canvas purple ones they look like this and a lot more by the way so i'm not going to i'm not going to show you like all the shoes that we got but yeah, that's basically it. I absolutely love the background. In a couple, kuna mtu aliniambia ni change the curtains. I've still not got a time to do that. I'm going to do it. But yeah, that's basically it. Let's go with an errand. This is the part that I don't enjoy the most. <laughs> when it's time to deliver, but it comes with the job because obviously you need to uh, get, you need, the owners need to receive their things. But yeah, in case I didn't mention, I do run errands for everyone who is around Nairobi or even if you're far, you can send me at a small fee and then I'll do the delivery. So yeah, let's do that. I still have another client, Munyanafa Kwenda Kikomba, but I don't know if I'm going to show you guys quite this vlog or maybe another vlog. But yeah, oh my god, let me recap the food that you guys saw us eating. Oh my god, 10 over 10. So that place is located um, at Muthiga, Wayaki Way, uh, Pork Center, Afi Pork Center. Yeah, that's the name. Oh my god, the food was really, really nice. In fact, I'm remembering and I'm like, oh. I wish I took some takeaway. That food was really good. The cocktails were also nice. I think I took three cocktails. Now I was like, out. <laughs> so the cocktails are quite heavy, which is always a good thing. And the food was amazing the ambience as well 10 over 10 uh the um, service was good as well but the only thing is that the space is small like up in japan you to make it they only had like four four sections so it's a bit small so i don't know maybe they'll expand but yeah that's my review of the place absolutely enjoyed the food you know the food is always like the number one thing that will like make you return somewhere <laughs> the food and the service obviously but for me i think it's the food the food was really good but yeah that's what's up let's uh head to town and yeah you guys so before we even head out let me talk about something so i came across a tiktok recently and the lady was like hmm, would i call it mocking okay first of all i feel like you people you hate kenyan youtubers like you just generally hate I don't see YouTubers, too many two content creators in general. You guys, I feel like you just have some kind of hatred for them. So this lady, she's a Kenyan as well, and she was like, so the, the TikTok video, I don't want to place it here because of copyright. Guys, I've been copyrighted before, so yeah, we're not taking that chance. So she was saying, I, what do you mean you want to be a Kenyan content creator and you don't have a cab with <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> what do you mean you want to be a content creator and you don't have that fire screensaver the one that i have on what do you mean you want to be a content creator and you don't what else oh you don't have um dummy books <laughs> oh my god and you know the first time i came across that video i was like i was just laughing because i was like oh my god i feel like i'm guilty i'm guilty i'm guilty of that but then again guys you're not the only like we are not the only people who have these things like if you watch other people from even across the world literally the curved mirrors are trending everywhere i know everyone and anyone who is a content creator i know they have the curved mirror the screensaver it's quite easy it's honestly quite aesthetic so and it's not us kenyans that we usually do these things to. so yeah i came across that video the first time it was funny and then the second time you no know, she kept on going and i was like you know what this is giving hatred at this point and then to make matters worse the comments under those videos oh my goodness you guys some people are even going i think they were like mentioning people oh like so and so like so and so and so and i'm like guys you you guys are the ones who watch these content creators but then again sometimes i always feel like it, it's giving hater like you're watching someone but at the same time it's like you don't like them because like 
<sighs> I don't even know. Honestly, I don't know how to explain, but yeah, I just found that to be. I don't know. I felt some type of way, maybe because I felt like I was guilty of everything that she mentioned. But yeah, the camp mirrors are aesthetic. The dummy books are aesthetic as well. So sad to see Oh, and she also mentioned the TV stand, the white TV stand. Yeah, the one that I have. <laughs> I don't think she was talking about me, obviously, but she was talking in general about Kenyan creators and how we have similar houses. And I was like, this is a, maybe if I see something I like, I'm going to get it despite it having, despite other people having the same thing. For real, because I'm like, me, Kiana TV stand, boy, me, I'm going to get it because that's my style. If I see something else, if I, like sheer curtains do really look good so if i see someone else who has sheer curtains of course i want my house to be also i don't know i don't know i know it sounds like i'm trying to justify myself but we are not the only creators not only kenyan creators that have these things if you watch wasewa like other continents even nigeria south africa people have the curved mirrors People have the same TV stand, so I just feel like you guys, you need to cut Kenyan content creators some slack. We are really trying. Yeah, although I don't even think she was talking about me, by the way. I think she was talking about the bigger creators, but I was like, it's giving hatred at this point. Because if you feel like our houses are similar, then maybe try and do something different. I don't know. But yeah. I know that talk was very unnecessary to any. I wanna all night. I wanna all night. I wanna all night. I wanna all night. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we. Hey, you guys. Uh, today is on Sunday and it's the continuation of the vlog. So today I want to tidy up my house because it's really, really dirty and what better way to do it with you guys. I'm going to make it as interesting as possible since this is not like a cleaning video. I'll try to switch up the angle so that you guys you don't get bored uh, too quickly. So I think yesterday we were chilling. Me and you guys, me and you, we are friends, right? Uh, we, were, we went to town to deliver whatever we were delivering and it was successful and then i got home i think i think we will update so yeah that's what's up we don't have lights unfortunately because i could have put some music so what better way than to like spend a boring sunday afternoon than to clean i really don't like cleaning but the feeling that comes afterwards yeah that's that's what i love so yeah let's get into it um I don't think there's anything else I need to update you on. I've still not gotten a nice verse for the pampas grass, but I'm not in a hurry. Also, I think I'm going to switch the water to change, I mean. But yeah, that's basically it. Let's get into cleaning. By the way, just got in town. I won't let humans cloud all in the sky. Amazing, playing baby, saying baby, 
love and shit, you know I'm crazy. So go ahead and put a drink up. I'm so glad we got to link up. Get to taking that off, taking that off of me. I got the plug, I made the call for me. I'm talking late night for you. Let me lay a great time on you. Don't make me wait, no, don't you? Just say you will, will, will come to it, chill, chill, chill. Just say you will, will, will come to it, chill, chill, chill. Just say you will. Hold on. 
She had to be an ice blue bong, whatever She said she wanna be a dentist really bad She's in school paying for tuition doing porn in the fab At least you're working, but girl I can't feel my face But I was smoking anyway She said don't let the high go to waste Can you taste, little taste, no for So the next day I passed by this shop uh, that was selling some mirrors. I have a project that is coming up. Hopefully it will go as planned and I'm thinking of putting a console table and a round mirror. So I, thus, I saw this and I thought of asking the prices and can you imagine this mirror was going for 3000 you guys, which is such a steal. Um, this black one was going for 5000 In case any one of you guys is interested, just ask me for the number because I took his number. I'll be working with him. Um, so yeah, that's what was happening here. And then later in the evening, we made some chapatis. As you can see here, this is my brother who was uh, cooking. Apparently, he is really good. Me, I cannot make chapatis to save my life, you guys. I've tried. So yeah, that's what uh, he was doing here. I was trying to record. I know it's not the most aesthetic footage, uh, but just bear with me. And yeah, that's what happened. So at the end of uh, the cooking, I'll show you how they came out. And yeah. Only been a few hours when it felt like days. Only been days when it felt like months. When 
gone for a year, only know like once Life move fast and you do what you want I guess I'm doing what I want Hope you know what you want Berry. But she don't love me, she's too scary My hope is fun like Jackie Brown I don't wanna know but she's so down Will you be my leading lady? I want a contract, get no baby In the meantime It's the meantime Uh, guys, our dinner is ready. Here are the chapatis that we were making. I think they've turned out uh, pretty okay. And then I'm having it with some vegetable soup. That's actually what I was craving. So yeah, I know the soup doesn't look appetizing, but trust me, it's really good. <laughs> so yeah, that's my dinner for today. The next day, guys, I just got back home from town, and to say I'm tired is an understatement. This is what I'm having. I really don't like dry chips. I don't know about you guys, but I prefer mine if you are wet. Now I'm, I'm even regretting buying this. I should have bought something else. But it's okay since I'm hungry and all, I'm still going to eat that. And then, guys, when I tell you <laughs> I'm obsessed with this show, I am obsessed. It's called. Um, wait. Okay, so that's the name of the channel, Alet Muli. <laughs> Guys, this shows that I'm, I'm such a hopeless romantic. So basically what happens is, let me pause that, sorry. So the ladies line up or the guys, they, they, they interchange, they usually interchange. So this uh, episode is the ladies who are like lining up and then they're given some balloons and then the guys, random guys get to go in. <laughs> Bro, and then if like any of the lady likes the guy they don't pop the balloon if they are not feeling the guy they pop the balloon this show is hilarious oh my god but i also love the fact that they are very respectable with each other like they are very compared to other shows that i've seen where people insult each other i feel like this is quite respectable like if you don't like someone they're like you know you're very beautiful but you're basically not my type and i just feel like there's still hope for hum humanity because our twisty and Angi, they are very like cordial and respectable and they're like you know what you're just not my type but you're very handsome like i just love that about them like they don't give negativity when you're watching so yeah that's what <laughs> i want to watch and yeah